Hi, and welcome to the Cardi Partnership's Ignite stage. Only together, innovative digital solutions to build stronger systems to reduce climate and disaster risk. My name is Carla Linhardt, and I'm the Cadre Partnership Program Analyst. My name is Ruben Vargas. I'm the Program Specialist for Cadre. Into the third year of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've all experienced the substantial ways how it affects the way we work. It challenges us to find innovative ways of working and come up with out-of-the-box solutions to meet our objectives. Only working together can we address the challenges that we are facing now. Cloudy partnership, agencies, UN agencies, FRC system, countries, stakeholders have come together to develop an application that can help us in this process of supporting countries to address disaster risks, to improve their capacities. This is what we're going to present you now. But first, let us introduce you what Cadre is. The Capacity for Disaster Reduction Initiative, short Cadre, is a global partnership led by the United Nations and International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement. It gathers 20 humanitarian and development organizations that came together to build a unique mechanism for countries to access expertise in disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. Cadre partners are committed to achieve the 2030 Agenda by strengthening countries' capacities to reduce disaster and climate risks and to leave no one behind. By pooling our members' resources, knowledge and practices and leveraging on each other's comparative advantages, we provide countries with a one-stop shop mechanism to mobilize expertise in risk reduction in various socioeconomic sectors. We deliver tailor-made capacity development services, NDRR and CCA, that support risk-informed development planning and humanitarian action across sectors. Upon request from the government through the UN resident or humanitarian coordinator, we deploy interagency teams to countries to facilitate capacity diagnoses of disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation systems. The capacity diagnosis aims to perform an integrated assessment of the country's current state of national and local capacities by identifying strengths, weaknesses and gaps. As such, Cadre partners contribute to risk-informed development and humanitarian actions that support the implementation of the Sendai Framework, the Paris Agreement and the Sustainable Development Goals. For a global partnership whose main mechanism is to deploy disaster risk reduction and climate change expertise to countries, the COVID-19 pandemic and the enforced global travel restrictions have naturally represented a great challenge. In the new COVID-19 reality and in a tech-oriented world, Cadre partners had to look for enhanced and innovative ways to help governments to identify integrated solutions to tackle climate change and disaster risks. So they developed the Cadre tool that allows for operation in diverse environments, including for virtual missions. The Cadre capacity diagnosis methodology has already been successfully applied in 35 countries. The Cadre Digital Tool has been designed to support countries in their efforts to strengthen their national and local capacities to reduce disaster and climate-related risks. It facilitates the multi-stakeholder teams, assessors and planners with the guidance required to design, plan and implement capacity diagnosis missions, which can be comprehensive or focused on specific sectors and hazards. The tool assists countries to operationalize their national disaster risk reduction strategies by identifying priority areas for investment across sectors. It also helps the users to define an action plan addressing gaps and challenges in disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. It can be used in both development and humanitarian contexts. The Cadre tool users are government officials as well as members of the UN country teams and the incoming interagency cadre team. The tool can also be used beyond the cadre missions by the global disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation community. It allows multiple country stakeholders, including the government, the UN and the IFRC experts to work simultaneously and exchange information in real time with the help of the user-friendly interface. Let us briefly show you how the tool interface looks like. This is the main dashboard, where users get an overview of the tool main functionalities. The question bank, 
the user's database, mission and countries, and help and support. The user database and the mission page provide the tools to plan and conduct the capacity diagnosis missions. Here, team leaders can allocate specific responsibilities to different team members. They can monitor progress and implementation of those tasks that were assigned and can also compile the inputs. Now, here we are looking at the question data bank, which is the main component, the core component of the tool. Here is the collection of questions that were developed by the different agencies. And this is going to provide tools to query, to search for specific guidance on specific issues. We can search by question. We can also use the filter and select by, for instance, capacities that we were defined, governance, implementation. We can also search for hazards, specific hazards, but we can also search for principles, like for instance, leaving no one behind gender and equity. Let's go back to the dashboard and show you briefly the mission and countries section. This is where we are planning, we are monitoring, we are conducting the capacity diagnosis mission. Here we have an overview of the mission. We have the country analytical frame, which just define the set of questions that are going to be used to provide guidance for the specific team members when they are assigning, assessing specific issues. And we have the composition of the teams. We also have the tasks that were assigned to each, each member of the team. This is defined on their user analytical frame. And here users have the possibility to follow, see what they need to do, specific tasks that were assigned to them and provide the inputs with the information that they are going to gather in the interviews, in the revision of the documents. So this is the information. Here we also have the possibility to score the corrugated questions, which is going to be used later to provide a quick overview of the status of development of these capacities at the country level. This is reported back in the out report outline, where all the inputs provided by different team members is going to be compiled. Here we have the general findings, sector specifics, hazards. And as you can see here, for the sector specific, we have this graphic that shows an easy to way read the difference, uh, uh, st the status of development for the if different capacity dimensions that are being used as reference to assess the country's capacities to manage disaster reduction and climate change. So here is a brief overview of the tool and we can uh, explore a little bit more later. User-friendly digital functionalities promote a collaborative process with multiple stakeholders, including the government, the UN, and the IFRC system, offering advantages such as participative planning, facilitating the conversation among multiple stakeholders on how to prioritize by sector by different recommendations, virtual teamwork space, improving coordination and efficiency, customization, defining the scope, selecting the questions that are relevant to a specific country context, quality assurance, making sure that the principles that are key are included in the capacity diagnosis process, leaving no one behind conflict sensitivity, gender, automatic visualization, translating the scoring, the findings into visuals that can be easily interpreted. Periodic updates, the government can update the scoring, can update the funding and recommendations on a common interface and can track them in process in the implementation. Now, we will introduce you to the methodology supporting the development of the tool. The country's disaster reduction and climate change capacities are assessed using five capacity dimensions, governance, implementation capacity, financing, knowledge, technology, and equipment. Using this as reference, the CARI partners have developed a set of questions referring to key issues to be considered under each capacity dimension. The development of these questionnaires has considered the integration of key principles such as gender, leaving one behind, conflict sensitivity, local level, and private sector. So far, the CADI partners have developed 10 modules, a generic one and nine sector-specific modules, including agriculture and food security, culture, education, environment, health, infrastructure, nutrition, and washing. The tool 
offers the possibility to query these questionnaires in search of a specific guidance to conduct the capacity diagnosis missions. With the adoption of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, 193 United Nations member states pledge to ensure no one will be left behind and to endeavor to reach the furthest behind first. Committed to achieving the 2030 Agenda, the Cadre Digital Tool systematically integrates gender equality and leaving no one behind as key principles in the center of national planning in a government-led, participative and inclusive process. People who are most vulnerable are hit hardest when a disaster strikes. It affects not only their ability to withstand the crisis, but also their capacity to recover. Without proper attention, the same structures and systems that made them vulnerable and exposed in the first place can also exclude them from emergency aid and recovery. Many of the barriers people face in accessing services, resources and equal opportunities are not simply accidents and lack of availability of resources, but rather the result of discriminatory laws, policies and social practices that leave groups of people further and further behind. Leaving no one behind requires safe and meaningful participation in disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation of women and other groups at greatest risk of being left behind due to disaster shocks and the impacts of climate change. It requires policy and implementation processes that are gender responsive and broadly inclusive. The cadre partners respond to these demands and needs by integrating the principle to leave no one behind and gender responsiveness and the Kadri Digital Tool questionnaires. More precisely, it means that gender and diversity responsive and inclusive DRR and CCA need to include mandated institutional representation of women, civil society organizations, and people representing groups with particular needs in committees, councils, and other relevant platforms. It also needs to include the collection and analysis of disaggregated data on disaster and climate change impacts and qualitative and quantitative research to provide an evidence base for identifying the most vulnerable, the causes of vulnerability or disadvantage, and the most effective strategies to support the increased resilience. Studies show that people most vulnerable to disasters and climate change often live in contexts of fragility and conflict. Although the nature of this link is still a matter of debate, what is widely agreed upon is that climate change and disasters do not directly cause social tensions or violent conflict. Instead, they increase individual and institutional vulnerability, which in turn increases the risk for conflict and political instability. This interlinkage clearly states the need for a coherent and holistic approach in disaster reduction, climate change adaptation, and conflict prevention along the humanitarian development peace nexus. In the Cadre Digital Tool, the principle of conflict sensitivity is mainstream in the questionnaires across the 10 modules and five capacity dimensions. By building and strengthening government capacities and national systems to effectively respond to disaster and climate change risks while simultaneously addressing social tensions and conflict risks that arise from disaster and climate change impact, Cadre partners contribute to the ambitions of operationalizing the humanitarian development peace nexus. Conflict sensitivity, risk reduction, and climate change adaptation needs to ensure that the policies and systems implemented do not harm and do not exclude any society group. Local conflicts dynamics need to be considered in the development of the disaster reduction and climate change interventions and policies. This is an important contribution to building resilient societies in the face of multiple intertwined risks. Thank you for joining us in the Cadre Partnerships Ignite stage. You can learn more about Cadre visiting our website, cadre.net. You can also follow us on Twitter, Cadre Partners. There you will have more information about our activities. Thank you and see you next time.